Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mac Plays the Classics. Sega really wanted to push its 3D technology, so here's Blade Eagle 3D with another try. I'll preface this with the admission that I'm sure the 3D games don't emulate properly. As in, I'm hoping that the goggles made it so you could differentiate the different planes that exist in this game. I've asked people that actually had the Master System back in the day, so hopefully I'll get an answer. You're the last ship to blade fleet after a surprise attack by the war-loving Arvians. It's up to you to destroy an entire planet worth of bad guys single-handedly. Button 2 fires your lasers, which you want to be doing a lot. Button 1 switches your Z-plane from high altitude to low altitude and vice versa. You have to be on the same plane as your enemies to kill them, but some enemies can shoot between planes, which is bad for you. Throughout the levels, there are bosses that you can kill to earn either a weapon power-up or a shadow. You can hold up to two shadows, options, at once, and if you get hit, you become one of them. So also think of them as extra hits you can absorb. The weapon starts out as a little bullet, but the first upgrade turns it into a twin shot. If you're lucky enough for another weapon power-up, you get a laser beam which shoots through enemies so you can take out lines. The final power-up is the particle beam, which is a wide laser. This is the most powerful weapon. When it comes to creating Blade Eagle 3D on Sega Master System, the graphics get a 1.0. The graphics are pretty poor, not much detail anywhere. The sound gets a 1.0. Music and sound are below average. Gameplay gets a 1.0. Switching between the Z-axis is the main gameplay element. It doesn't work really well in practice. Difficulty gets a 1.0. I'm hoping the 3D goggles would have made it easier to differentiate between the planes. Fun Factor gets a 1.0. I got over this one really quickly, it didn't hold my attention long. Overall, Blade Eagle 3D gets a 1.0, gets a D. I wouldn't recommend playing this one. Move along. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Blade Eagle 3D in the comments. Let me know if the 3D goggles actually help differentiate. And please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release because it is your destiny.